Hi there, it's your girl Tessa you, Chanel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what you guys might normally expect to get from me, um, but it's definitely a necessity. It's a needed video. I've been praying about this for a very long time, and it's imperative that I just get this out there and just share this with you guys. First and foremost, let me say that I've been saying this over and over. It probably sounds like a broken record right about now that the month of May is special to me because I was born in May and of course this is the anniversary also my birthday is also the anniversary of when I launched everything that I'm doing pretty much uh, as far as having a public platform now with that said this birthday is a special one because I turned 35 yes the big three five <laughs> I am five years away from 40 and so I, I am definitely in a place of deeper reflection and I say deeper to emphasize on the fact that I've always been in deep reflection but this time around it's like on a deeper level um, for obvious reasons I'm getting older and in me doing that I've been more intentional about taking stock of my mind um, that's one thing God has been really dealing with me and helping me work on is literally making sure that my mind is in a very very sane healthy and sound place um, I wasn't even aware until like two three days ago when I heard on the radio that May is actually mental awareness month Ooh, who knew and that for me just kind of sealed the deal for me it definitely um, kind of let me know that I needed to come in here and have this conversation with you guys let me start off by saying that this video is not just for believers meaning those that believe in Christ it's for anybody okay but I do want to speak on why it is important for us to be conscious of our mental health as believers for so long there's been this misconception that if you are a believer in Christ there's no need for you to work on your mental health or for you to seek professional help if necessary and I'm here to debunk that myth it's very very important um, and I know that God approves of it I've prayed about it I've even read the scriptures on it lots and lots of scriptures just dig into the Bible you would find several scriptures there if you think I'm just making this up let me share a couple with you let's start with the infamous one that says that as a man thinking in his heart so is he we all know this scripture we have all heard the scripture over and over and over again right but it's so profound pretty much whatever you think in your mind about yourself or your life or your surroundings is what ends up becoming and yet and still we still say that it's not important for us to really take stock of our mental health take a moment and think about that for a second it is important because it's equally important to God another scripture I'm going to share with you guys also it's in the book of Ephesians 423 and it says that and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind what in the spirit of your mind let me say it again in the spirit of your mind what does that tell you that tells you that this battle we are facing or this life we're living right it's not just about this physical capsule okay the critical thing that is important about our existence is actually this because this influences everything else that we see on the outside there's a book that I love to recommend to a lot of people whenever they come to me about different life issues okay and most of the time if I can't find the specific answer this book is always my go-to because again everything starts with the mind and it's a book called the battlefield of the mind by Joyce Meyer in that book she emphasizes on the importance of the mind and how a lot of the things that we go through a lot of the turmoil and the internal battles that we face in life a lot of the the thoughts that we you know we constantly deal with is within or are within rather right most folks don't even realize that if you take a moment to just pause and think about your life or your day-to-day -day, 24 hours of your day take stock of that I guarantee you you would realize that majority of the tussle or the things that causes tension and friction occurs in your mind not necessarily in the outside some of them may end up manifesting on the outside because your mind influences your decisions and influences how you relate to others how you think about you know even food and things like that food clothes you wear and so on and so forth but I say all this to say that the mind is very important which is why it's essential that we come to we, we endeavor to be good stewards of it or great stewards of it a lot of us this year are working on getting better physically I know I am right for those that have been watching my videos I've been posting videos on juicing and things like that right but it's I dare say that it's even more important that we are healthy within than we are healthy on the outside there's no point in me being physically healthy and people see me on the outside saying oh Toyosi 
looks fantastic, but on the inside I'm suffering, on the inside I'm dying, on the inside I, I, I feel silenced. And you know, this right here is so, is so, so important to me because it's not just about me. A lot of people have actually reached out to me privately, both folks I know in person and folks that just, just kind of follow my platform. And a lot of people are going through stuff, y'all. Most of those folks don't even have an outlet and they feel shamed that they're even going through it because they are believers. I've seen, I, I, literally people have come to me and say, you know, you know, I don't want to, I don't want it. I don't want to lose my faith. I don't want it to feel as though because I am acknowledging that I need to work on my mental health. It means that I don't have faith in God. And that's not the case. God has given us liberty to be, to be free in that. God emphasizes so much in the scriptures on the importance of what it means to have a sound mind. Granted, of course, you don't take God out of the equation while you work on getting healthy um, when it comes to your mind. However, you can partner with God. You can take responsibility um, of getting better. You can take responsibility of your life and work on getting better. Seek help. Find someone to talk to, right? Find friends. Find an avenue. It is very, very important. The one thing the enemy thrives on is isolation. The one thing the enemy thrives on is being able to crush our spirits and just silence us. Hence why the battle is within. And I just want to come in here to encourage you. In this month of May, please take the time to invest in your mental health in any way you can do it whether it's having someone hold you you know you want to meet with once a week whether it's you know reaching out to somebody professionally or confiding in your friends or having a prayer partner just make sure that you are being intentional of taking stock of your mind and the things that you are allowed to come in and the things you're allowed to go out also make sure that sometimes you take the moment to just be and just meditate and just process um your your day to day and ask yourself why you react to certain things the way you do, why you think you do. Ask questions about yourself and you will be surprised what you will discover about yourself. Sounds like a lot of yourselves, but it's the truth. Because I know it's worked for me. A lot of the things I'm discovering about myself now, I'm like, whoa, this is based on how I was raised or things that I, you know, I experienced, they're, they've influenced me. And some of those things are unresolved. Some of them are good things, some of them are not so good. Right. But because I had suppressed them and I never really talked about it, I never realized how much of an impact those things were having on my mind and ultimately on my life and calling. So, again, I want to stress it. Take the moment to take stock of your mind. Be accountable for the health of your mind. It is very, very essential. It is very, very essential. Um, that's it. This video is very unscripted. I'm just speaking from my heart to yours. I hope that this video has resonated with you in some way or another. I hope that it's um, encouraged you to be okay with not being okay sometimes. I hope that it's empowered you to be able to move forward in getting better because that is what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to grow and get better on a day to day. And that's pretty much it. Like I always tell you guys, I may not have all the answers. I may not know it all. But I am glad I know the one that does, and that's Christ Jesus, and you can know him too. And I'm here to tell you that it is his desire for you to have life in abundance. And that, that is not limited to just wealth. That is not limited to just being physically fit. That is not limited to you know, having the biggest platform and influence. Okay, it goes beyond that. Your mind is also a part of that. Do not forget. Do not neglect yourself. Work on your mind as you work on every area of your life. God bless you, and have a blessed one.